Hey y'all, hey, y'all know me, dropping in to spread a little tea, and you know how we do it, so let's get right into it. Now I know a lot of y'all are not going to agree with what I'm about to talk about, but when it comes to love and marriage Huntsville, I am a Tisha and Marsu fan. I know it's not many of us, but I do stand with them. So with that being said, I want to talk about a couple of scenes that happened on Saturday night. The first scene was when they went to Tiffany's baby reveal. The minute Tisha walked in, she sat down, she greeted the ladies, grabbed herself something to eat, and began to question why everybody was so quiet. The reason the ladies were quiet was because they was addressing um, the uh, Black Expo that Tisha and Marsu had through a couple of weeks prior. So Tisha said, oh, well, I'm not discussing any of that anymore. So Kimmy proceeds to ask, why not? We're not coming down on you. Why not? People just want to address some things. In my opinion, Kimmy, she is, she's so sneaky. She's a sneaky shit starter. She starts shit and then act like she really wasn't intending to or she really didn't mean it that way. She knows what she's doing. I've been watching Kimmy. I used to think differently about her, but I've been watching her this past year and it's the same old, same old. She's always telling shit and then acting like it really wasn't meant to be taken that way. But moving forward, um, then Miss Nell jumps in and she starts addressing Tisha about the Black Expo and about her not inviting them. And Tisha goes to say, well, I'll put it on social media. So Miss Nell feel like, OK, we've been in the community for 30 years. We don't we too good for a social media invite. Even though you told us we can come, we was expecting something to be sent out to us to let us know that you personally are inviting us. Now, I'm going to say this. I don't care for Miss Nell. And the reason I don't care for her is because I can see right through her. She's sneaky, too. And I think she's trying she's doing all of this to try to get a spot on the show, because first off, where does she come from? Like, I don't even know why she's at these gatherings. I know she's um, Melanie's fake friend. <clears throat> Excuse me. My opinion. But it's just something about her. I, I like her husband. But it's just something about Miss Nell that it doesn't, it, it, it rubs me the wrong way. So Tisha goes to explain that, look, I'm not talking about it anymore. I done said what I had to say. It is what it is. And this is not the place to be talking about it, which I agree. This is not the place to be talking about it. If the ladies felt like they wanted to address Tisha outside of the ones that had already spoken to her about it, because she made it clear. Like Stormy, me and her talked over the phone. We hashed it out. Her and Kimmy had spoken. Her and Kimmy had already spoken and Miss Nell could have called her. So no, I do not agree with the ladies all addressing her about this event once again at an event that had nothing to do with what they were there for. So after they reveal the baby, the ladies go to another seating area and decide to proceed with Asking Tisha questions about the Black Expo again. So here they go. Now they want to bring up, well, Miss Nail with her little pretty sneaky self because she is such a pretty woman, but she just, she's sneaky as hell. So here she goes. Well, what happened with the $100? I want to know what happened with the $100. I wasn't there. Somebody tell me what happened with the $100. So then she asked Stormy. Stormy like, well, I really don't want to talk about, do you want to talk about what happened? And Tisha's like, no, I don't want to talk about what happened with the hundred dollars again? Like I'm over it. I don't want to talk about it. And I don't, and this is not the place to talk about it. And by this time, Tiffany is sitting there. Now at first in the beginning, she was like, I will go over to the ladies. Um, if I wasn't uh, breastfeeding the baby, but then again, why are they discussing that here at this event? Exactly what I was thinking, but you got wrapped up into it anyway. And you had to throw your little two cent in just like you always do. The only part I did not like well, the other part that I did not like is when Stormy kept calling Marsu um, a woman, a lady, a bitch. I mean, she took it too far. And I was surprised that Tisha didn't come back at her because 
you know, when Love and Mary Chunsfield first started off, Tisha didn't have a voice. Tisha didn't even know who she was. That's why I respect her so much. And that's why I, I like her because she's come so far. And now that she has a voice, she's using it, honey. She's popping off at times where she shouldn't be popping off, but she using that voice. So I was real surprised of her, um, how she sat there when Stormy was disrespecting her husband because that would not have happened. And about the hundred dollars, why is everybody still talking about this hundred dollars? Everybody on this show got yeah, plenty of hundred dollars, but I guess it was the principal. And I want to talk about that for a moment because I do understand what Stormy is saying. Marsu, your ass should not have went to her and asked her where that hundred dollars was on the date of the event that should have been talked about in advance. I respect Tisha for going over there, apologizing to Stormy about her husband's behavior because we all know Marsu being everybody's business but his own. Yes, I like him, but I like to keep it real too. When it comes to him and Tisha's relationship, yes, she do turn her shoulder to a lot of bullshit that he does. Yes, Marsu is always in the lady's business. He always got something to say. And yes, he is very disrespectful. He is, but it's just something about his character that I like. <laughs> but anywho, um, so when um what I did not like was Stormy really tried to act like Marsu came at her in a disrespectful way. Like he, she made it seem like to her husband that he came to her like checking her. And that's not what it was. He simply walked up to her and asked her in a roundabout way about the hundred dollars. No, he shouldn't have done it, but he did. But Stormy, if you're going tell, to tell the story, tell the truth of the story. And y'all, I like Stormy, but um, I, I don't like how she did that with telling, acting like he checked her and then sent her big, big, husband over there to to check big marsu it was funny anyway um so this scene tisha got sick of it and she said you know what i'm out i'm leaving first she got up and walked away stormy went and got her she came back kimmy suggested that they do some type of town hall meeting and you know rehash all this because i am in agreement with them they do need to sit down and have a talk about why everyone didn't pay the hundred dollars. Why some people, you know, were able to um, put up a booth for free and others were not. That does need to be addressed along with a lot of other things. But stop addressing it to just Tisha. Now, Kimmy, I do like that you suggested that, you, that all y'all sit down and have a meeting. I do like maybe then they can get it resolved and be on one accord. But I don't know because when me and my mom was discussing this, honey, we was not on one accord. She is not a Tisha fan and she was not trying to hear my shit. Moving forward. Oh, no. Wait before I move forward. As far as this thing right here, Kiki, I don't know what to say about her. I don't know why her and her husband think they can play with us like they don't know what's going on why she's sick and he's saying he don't know stop playing just 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 resign from your role okay you done backslid and you need to you know just just get yourself together but stop playing with us and if it's any millimeters in my chat please don't come for me because over here i tell it like it is whether i like you or not and i'm trying to figure out why in the hell did melanie stylist let her lace front tilt that forward towards her eyebrows. It was ridiculous. Moving forward. Let me know what y'all think in the comments about if the ladies was, if it was okay for the ladies to do what they did to Tisha, to bombard her with all the questions, you know, at the event that they were at. Do you guys think Tisha disrespected Miss Mel? Did she go in too hard? Um, just let me know what you think below. Now, this last segment of Love and Mary Chansfield speaks for itself. Melanie read that ass and she see right through Marsu. And I know y'all may be like, how is she a fan? And she going in because I keep it real over here. That's why. And Melanie is right when she says Marsu do not want Tisha to get close to Mel. Because she may start to, you know, find her, her, her real self for real and realize that her husband is doing a lot more than she think he's doing and decide to mm -hmm, switch things up. I agree with everything Melanie said. I sure do, but I still love me some Tisha. 
Well, guys, that's all the commentary I have for now. As always, thanks for watching. I will talk to you shortly. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you can be alerted every time I upload a video. Don't forget to support your Black-owned businesses. Visit ours in the link below.